Best of K Beauty 2021. honest there was so much drama this has won my heart over this i'm sorry i love it best cleansers of my lifetime it is good for acne prone skin it's gonna be epic where are my soul sister let me hear ya flow sister Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, your sister, Yunyan in the house today. I'm so happy to see you guys. Extra excited because today I'm finally gonna be talking about the best of K-Beauty 2021. These are products that I absolutely adored for 2021 that I used most. Plus, I'm gonna be talking about some products that are taking over their spots because I feel like it was really hard for me to choose because you know how you, I literally forget what I ate yesterday. Do you know what I'm saying? I mean, we don't remember everything. So while I was trying to look for what I loved for 2021, I was like, oh, but I love these products these days. So it was hard for me to kind of go back and see what I really loved. So I'm going to share with you the products that I use the most throughout the whole year and maybe towards the end, what's kind of like taking over their spots and stuff like that. So it's going to be a fun party with a lot of recommendations. So let's get started. First things first, I absolutely absolutely adored finding new products for the cleansing parts. Especially, I'm going to be talking about two products from Skin 1004 and I loved this cleansing duo. A lot of people have been seeing Skin 1004 on social media platforms and I think a lot of you guys really love the Sika line. Personally, for me too, my favorite line from the brand is Madagascar Centella line. So for lip and eye remover, I love the Skin 1004 Madagascar Centella Ample Remover. This is a super gentle and refreshing lip and eye remover. I used about two to three bottles and I'm sticking with this one for 2022 as well. With six to four golden ratio, which is perfect for that kind of refreshing finish to sensitive eyes and lips. It has rich centella extracts, effective for calming sensitive areas. Your skin doesn't feel irritated afterwards. And the best part is that it doesn't leave your skin with that kind of oily, uncomfortable finish. It actually feels refreshed and it removes removes all of your eye makeup. For me, when I choose my lip and eye remover, what bothers me the most is uh, when you like use it, you, sometimes you get like a film of that oil layer in your eye. A lot of uh, remover stays tend to do that. So one of the parts I really didn't like, that was the one thing that I looked at. Number two, I looked at the price. I wanted it to be decent. I didn't want it to be too expensive because I use a lot of lip and eye remover and I like being generous with it because I don't like tugging on the eye area, especially because it's the thinnest around our whole face. And another part is that I have super duper sensitive skin, as you guys know, and this area is the most sensitive area like you know within our whole face so i wanted something that does not sting that's not gonna irritate my um skin around especially the lip and eye area which is so sensitive so i think those are the standards i had especially when i was choosing my lip and eye remover all right so for the next category i'm gonna go with the first cleansing uh, product. I know that there was a lot of choices this year, uh, even before, but uh, milk cleansing. So like a cream type of lotion type of cleansing, or there was cleansing um, balms, which became so huge this year and even years before, but it was such a big hit this year. And so many different brands came out with so many different products. Um, it wasn't just within a jar, but a lot of brands came out with like the tubs as well, which made it so easy to use cleansing balms. And last but not least, this is a category that I think a lot of people absolutely adored, but it was cleansing oils. And of course you had cleansing waters and so on, but personally for me, I used so many different type of cleansing oils and I chose this one as well as my favorite of the 2021. So for cleansing oil category, I chose Skin 1004's Madagascar Centella Light Cleansing Oil. It contains main ingredient Madagascar Centella Asiatica with six plant based oils. The texture of this oil is so light. That was my favorite part about this cleansing oil. It was just so easy to use, especially not for the winter time, but in the summer as well. I felt like it didn't feel uncomfortable, so my hands kept on reaching for it. It's a gentle cleansing oil that melts away makeup, sunscreen, and if you don't also use a lip and eye remover, this melts away your eye makeup and lip makeup as well. Another point that I loved was that when I started adding this into my routine, I felt like it helped to remove blackheads and prevent blackheads from building up. 
and after you massage as soon as the water hits the oil it turns into a white color it emulsifies so easily and i feel like just with a few slashes or splashes of water you feel like you're already done it doesn't feel uncomfortable and i think that was the best part and that's why i felt like even during summertime i was like oh my gosh i want to use a cleansing oil because usually during the summertime i switch over to a cleansing water or a different type of something for the cleansing part to use something a little bit more refreshing because usually a lot of cleansing oils have a very thick kind of uncomfortable feeling especially in the summertime you know it just feels thicker and stuff like that but i felt like this cleansing oil is just so easy and so light and i felt like a purified finish afterwards all right guys so let's move on to our cleansing foam section our second cleanser i already know you know which one that i chose this is the rovectin skin essentials conditioning cleanser i have loved this cleanser so much and i've been talking about it over and over and over again on my recent post i did share my top five skincare products um that i am loving these days and actually this cleanser wasn't in it so so many people are like Ani, where's the rovectin one oh my gosh where's the rovectin one and i've seen so many comments like that so for 2021 you guys i I've absolutely adore this one i used it for my face i used it for my body this is one of the best cleansers of my lifetime it's my holy grail but these days a lot of different brands are coming out with so many good cleansers man and i have to be honest like these days like a lot of different cleansers are taking over my heart but for 2021 this was my favorite uh, one of the parts that i did want to mention is that this is 100 percent vegan now before it wasn't but in the middle of the year i think around october -ish in 2021 they had the upgrade of making this 100 percent vegan so that is good news for all of us and i think already my unicorns already know how good this is but this is the gentle low ph cleanser it's a perfect second cleanser you guys uh, it's amazing because the finish itself feels so hydrating and I feel like it doesn't strip away the necessary moisture that we definitely love and want to keep on our skin so it doesn't damage our skin barrier I feel like this is one of the best cleansers to use even when your skin is really irritated or sensitized and it also does have enzymes uh, so that it does help with gentle exfoliation every day you can't really see a big huge drastic effect for exfoliating but it does help with exfoliation as well. All right, you guys, so I need to share with you guys this product really quickly because this has been my favorite cleanser. This is the Real Barrier Cream Cleansing Foam. Now, Real Barrier is a brand that I think some of you guys might be kind of like, oh, Anya, I've heard about it before, but I don't know uh, about it too much or I haven't tried the products yet. Real Barrier has a lot of good products, especially for sensitized or sensitive skin. They have so many different products that focuses on strengthening your skin barrier and kind of restoring your skin back so that it will become healthier of your its own you know your natural like healthy condition that it's uh, it's supposed to be in and i love their products so much i've been testing their creams out i've been testing their like peeling gels i've been testing out their um cleansing products this is one of my favorites and that's why i've decided to actually add this into my box that's gonna open in february beginning of february uh this has won my heart over this i'm sorry i love it oh close your ears oh i'm sorry i can't believe i said that to you i'm a i'm a Bitch, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, sorry, I dropped you too. I love you, okay? I do, I do. Let me just go here and I'll be back for you, okay? But anyways, <laughs> it does like create this kind of cream and it does feel like afterwards, it literally created some type of film like that you already applied on your cream. I know it's weird, but it does does have that nice hydrated slimy finish not slimy in a bad way not a con but it's a pro so it feels so nice you feel like your skin's really fully protected and you just need a little amount goes a long way it doesn't bubble up like crazy but it bubbles up enough it's very easy to bubble up and i love this this has taken my heart it has taken the place over the robectin cleanser so i wanted to add this into my box so okay i love you All right, guys, so next category is toner. And really surprisingly, you guys, I have a confession to make. 
I don't have a favorite toner these days. Isn't that so weird? I don't know why. I've been really loving to use a toner pad that I'm gonna be talking about a little bit later on, but I couldn't find a toner that like stole my heart, you know? And I'm such a big toner fan, you know? So it's weird for me right now. I feel lost and so confused and stuff like that. I don't know, you guys have to help me out. Please comment below a good toner that you're obsessed with these days because I need to be obsessed with a toner. Me not being obsessed with a toner, it's weird. I'm like in front of my vanity, I'm like, Doo -doo 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 -doo. I don't even know which one to use, but it did definitely help me while I was preparing for best of 2021 because it did remind me that um, this toner I absolutely adored for 2021. And it is the Isn't Tree Green Tea Fresh Toner. This is one of the best selling products from the brand. This is very popular globally. I know that they came out with a lot of different products after this toner received so much love. And the best part about this toner is that it is good for acne prone skin. Y'all know that I do have acne prone skin and this is something that does definitely help to control sebum. It has like a watery texture that absorbs really fast into your skin. It almost feels like a first essence when you try it. It calms your skin, it hydrates, it controls sebum thanks to a patent formulation that they have called anti-sebum P. It's a combination of four different ingredients that helps to control sebum. And it has 80% of fresh green extracts. So that's a lot of antioxidants in there and it's amazing for calming. So definitely this is one of the toners that I absolutely adored and I remember just jowsing this at like DIY cotton pad and then I remember I used to put it all over my face especially for the summertime. So this was my go-to and now I need a new love. I'm already sick of this man. I'm ready for a new one. Come at me. Share with me. Okay, I'm ready to move on. All right, guys, so we're gonna talk about my favorite toner pad for 2021. I feel like this is the best toner pad that I've used, and let me tell you guys. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> <laughs> I literally have, don't laugh, okay? I have two more as my tripod, okay? I love this, but I do have to admit, uh, my best friend didn't make it, so that's one of the reasons why, um, of course, I started trying it out more, but I absolutely adore this. This is the So Good Feel So Calm Toner Pads. This is made by our YouTuber influencer, Sue Beauty, and she is one of my best friends too, so it may be a little bit biased. I'm just telling you, I'm telling you straight up. However, this is the product that I used the most in 2021. It is so good. I love the size, it's humongo. Uh, usually I love using it as a DIY sheet mask. You will see in a lot of my stories, I always use it. And sometimes when I want to be extra, I just kind of cut and stuff and then put it on the other areas. But three is enough or four on the mouth area, just covering this area and so good to use every single day. I love this with a passion. Um, the both of the sides feel super soft. One is embossed and the other one is flat. And there's actually a lot of ammo in here. 170 milliliters of BAM essence in here and you have 70 pads. So once you get it, you can use it for a very long time. And also it's fragrance free, vegan friendly and cruelty free as well. The best part is I would say that this is amazing to calm breakouts as well. It has 83% of cabbage leaf water, which is amazing um, antioxidant and it helps to calm breakouts really well. And it helps to soothe um, irritated and red skin. I remember I actually went to the photo shoot with her when um, she was filming uh, like like taking photos for um, the launch and everything. So this actually product has such a big place in my heart. And honestly, to be very 100% straightforward with you, if the product was wasn't good. I love soup, but I wouldn't be talking about it and bragging about it as that much. But this is a product that I use a lot. And I think you guys can really feel it when I really like a product. So this is definitely a product that you do want to try. And Sue was so sweet enough to give me an okay for me to add this into my box in February. So I am so grateful to Sue. And I am so excited for my unicorns to be able to try this because I know that a lot of you guys have been wanting to try this. I bought this um, in Naver. So if you're in Korea, 
Korea. You guys, you can buy it from Naver. Very easy shipping. If you are um, my unicorns um, globally, you guys can get it at wishtrend.com and you can get it at Style Korean. I will leave all the information in the description below. Oh, and also on Amazon too. All right, guys. So we're going to move on to the serum slash ample category. This is a no brainer, you guys. This was so easy for me to choose. Like toner, I was like, huh? I had to go back and stuff. But serum, I was like, I know which one I, I'm gonna choose. So this is dun, 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 it's the Robectin Clean LHA Blemish Ample. Only again? Yes, I loved this ample with my heart, my eyes, with my no nostrils, with my nose, with my legs, with my toe jams, my whole shopping. I love this. This is the product that I used the most probably in 2021 because I went through all of my empties. I'm going to have an empties video for you guys very soon. Um, but yes, this is one of the best amples and best discoveries of 2021. This is a great day and night ample that focuses mainly on exfoliation plus brightening effect. I feel like overall the best results you will see with this product is um, if you have dull skin or if your skin is just kind of looking meh, <laughs> then this is a good uh, one to add into your routine because your skin just kind of feels refreshed and it helps with skin texture as well. It has a lot of good ingredients. Number one, like the name itself, LHA. And LHA is similar to BHA, but it is uh, more gentle on your skin. So I feel like, especially uh, if you are like me and you want to use an exfoliating product, but sometimes you find them a little bit too harsh, this is a good one to add in. Even if I add it in day and night routine for every single day, it's fine. But I do want to recommend if you do have sensitive skin, try using it like three days a week and then add more frequency to it. And also thanks to LHA, it does help to prevent breakouts too. I think that's one of the reasons why I really loved it too. And it also does have 85% of Neroli uh, flower water to calm inflammations. It has five layers of hyaluronic acid. Your skin just feels and looks super plumped after you apply this. And it has glutathione, which is a skin brightening ingredient to brighten dark spots, acne scars, and pigmentation. And also glutathione, it's similar to your skin structure. So it results in kind of like immediate skin restoring effect. That's one of the ingredients that I absolutely do adore. And it does have eco-friendly packaging. You can tell that they have taken out as much as wording as possible for the bottle. And they also have little stickers that you can apply apply but I like kind of using it without the stickers personally for me and I really wanted to mention this that I know sometimes that some of the products is kind of left on the outside like this you can actually avoid that by adding a plastic thingy like right in the entrance like other amples have however this product is within Robertson's clean line and they did want to really think about um, the environment and they wanted to make eco-friendly choices they have decided that it's better for the environment to take the plastic little thing out I know that I'm not the best person to be really friendly to the environment, I have to admit. Um, but it is something that I'm trying to change one by one, making little choices. So I'll rather not have the plastic thingy here. You know, I'll rather have it without. So yes, that's one thing that I wanted to mention. It does have ethanol um, at the end of the list. And the ethanol that's used in this product is actually from fermented plants. But if you are still worried, you can test it out in the back of your... Um, ears or right here before you apply it on your face when you get the product and they do have a 15 milliliter one and a 50 milliliter one so if you want to test it out get the 15 milliliter one and then try it and if it works for you get the bigger one so i'm really happy that actually that they have two different sizes and this is going to be in my box too <laughs> all right guys so let's move on to the cream category this one was a really difficult one to use because I felt like I've used so many different creams this year and especially creams is the category of products that we switch up because of our skin condition a lot and especially seasonal reasons too. I think toners and serums and stuff you can use it mostly like all year round but creams definitely when it's like winter I need something thicker definitely uh, for my um combination skin because it's super dry on the U-zone but I feel like this one suits all four seasons and all skin conditions that I had. So this is the Claire's Rich Moist Soothing Cream. To be honest with you there's nothing like wow about this cream. I'm just being straight up for what we would do but 
it's so easy, it works, it's so gentle, it's good pricing. So I felt like I used it so much this year and I kept on reaching for it. And Claire's is one of my OG favorite brands and they do have so many good selection of products. And they did do an upgrade on this too. Before it was in a packaging where um, sometimes like the like at the end, the the flippity floppity, it would always like towards the end of like the use, it would always never close properly. So I am so grateful that they upgraded this and it's the same formulation, but the packaging is different and I love it. It's bigger too. It's infused with yeast derived beta glucan. It strengthens the skin's natural moisture barrier. It's really amazing for all skin types, but especially for dry sensitive skin. Uh, it feels really comfortable afterwards. I think that's why I just kept on reaching for this one. This one was just a no brainer and it just spreads out easily and it's non-sticky. And this is a good product to apply on your body as well. If I can give you a little BTS story, uh, the all over lotion that they have in Claire's line, it's not the rich moist line, but it's like a different packaging, but it's bigger. If you check out the ingredient list, it's almost it's like it's very similar. So they loved this product so much and they realized um, some of the stuff like they put it on their body and they loved it so much and it did such an amazing effect for them. They decided why not come up with a bigger version kind of with a little bit different of formulation, but it's very similar, but it's amazing. Even uh, your children can use it. So I felt like it's more gentle and it's you know, more affordable and it's bigger. It does have a lighter consistency than the Rich Moist Soothing Cream, but I love the all over lotion as well. All right, guys, so we are here now at the sunscreen category and whoa, oh boy, let's just be honest. There was so much drama. I felt like it was such a big experience for me personally too. It was very eye awakening for me. And I felt like for all of us, uh, for the industry as well, the biggest issue was that they've tested some SPF products uh, from different brands and the SP levels basically weren't as what the product itself claimed to be. So I know that a lot of products uh, from different brands were discontinued. However, there were a few brands that actually renewed their um, formulation. So this one was something that actually Sue recommended. And this is one of the few brands that actually upgraded. They found out the SPF levels were not as what it claimed to be. So they apologized and they renew their formulation. I actually haven't tried the one before, but I heard that it's very similar to the one before. And this is the Round Lab Birch Juice Moisturizing Sunscreen, and it's amazing. It is an essence type of sunscreen. It's just so easy to use. It does give you a little bit of dewy finish, but no white cast, just very essence-like. It has SPF 50 plus, PA plus, 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 plus. It has Vita Hyaluronic Acid and Birch Juice. It's moisturizing, it's easy to use doesn't have a sticky finish afterwards. And this was definitely one of my favorite sunscreens uh, for 2021 after the renewal. But I also do have to close the ears of this sunscreen because these days I'm cheating on it with something. I have fallen in love with a new person and it is, da -da -da -da, where are you? I used it this morning too. So, ah, I'm sorry, don't listen. I, I used her this morning, so dun 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 It is the BOJ sunscreen, you guys. This is the Relief Sun Rice Plus Probiotics. It's so easy. It's SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. I have to be honest, the texture is so similar. It's just so comfortable. It's essence-like. Before it got really cold, I used this as a moisturizer. I would go with my toner serum and I just finished off with this. There's no white cast. It's a, it's so nice. It has like a dewy finish at the end, but it's not too dewy either. And the bottle is perfect. The size, how big is this? 50 milliliters. I'm almost out of this. And I have actually begged Bazal. I was like, please, can we have BOJ sunscreen? So we're gonna be adding this into my box as well. Honestly, this has been one of the best sunscreens I've 
ever used. It's just so easy to use and so easy to reapply. Anything that makes it easy for me to reapply, especially sunscreen, that's true love, you know? So I really appreciate this and I feel like a lot of my unicorns are absolutely going to adore this one. All right, guys, so let's move on to the sheet mask category. Dun, da, da, da. This is the Abib Gummy Sheet Mask Heart Leaf Sticker. So this is a no-brainer. Um, this is the product that I use the most. To be 100% frank, I think sheet mask is really hard to come up with the one that's really good to see a huge difference compared to the other sheet masks because there's so many good products out there these days, you know? I bet you if we did a blind test, it will be really hard for us to tell the difference. However, this one, the sheet itself is, uh, in Korea, we call it gum takji, which is literally like gum like sticking on. It adheres to your skin really well. This does feel like your second skin. So for those of you that feels a little bit irritated by the sheet itself and you don't like it when it doesn't stick onto the curves, you're gonna adore this one. It's easy to use. It's always on sale at Olive Young and you know who loves Olive Young and you know who always buys stuff on sale from Olive Young. So every time I go film at Olive Young, this is something that I would just stock up on just naturally three to four whenever it did have a sale. And it did have one of the main ingredients as heart Leaf, which was a huge ingredient for 2021. Heart Leaf, also known as Hutuania Cordata, is called Osong Cho Chu in Korea. It became like the next big thing after Mugworth, and it's an excellent, excellent ingredient for calming effect. So no matter what my skin condition was in, I just reached for this one. It was easy. There's a lot of essence in here. The sheet feels amazing on your skin, and Abib always has the most chic like packaging. So I remember just getting this and gifting it to a lot of my friends too. So yes, this was definitely my favorite favorite sheet mask for 2021. Okay, so for the mask category, I have chosen this product. I feel like it's a no-brainer and this has been in my best of beauties for I think for like more than two, three years. I always choose this product because there's nothing that can actually beat it. Um, this is the I'm from Mugworth mask. You guys know I've talked about it so much. This is one of my favorite masks for calming. It also helps to control your breakouts and it's just so easy to use. It glides on easily and the main ingredient is Mugworth. It has 2.1% of pure Mugworth. I'm from is one of the brands that's known to be super picky about what type of ingredients that they use. So the Mugworth is from Kanghua, which is an area that's very well known for clean water, clean environment without, you know, like pollution and things like that. So they do have really good quality uh, Mugworth growing there. So anyways, this one, if you have acne prone skin or if you have sensitive skin or if you have heated skin like me, um, if you have a lot of concerns that Onni has, this will be a good one to add. The only con I would say is the scent itself is a bit strong so if you're not used to like mugworth it has that kind of oriental type of medicine kind of scent and this one it's pretty strong so if you don't like this one i would recommend the mugworth sheet mask that they do have they have very um good uh main ingredients of mugworth for calming so they do have similar effects however there's nothing that really doesn't like this one this is a good one to add. It's just annoying at times because it's a wash off mask, so you do have to wash it off, but it's so worth it. And this has made it to my best of beauties this year too. This is an OG. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I had so much fun. Why did I stop filming for a little bit? Oh yeah, I think I was very busy filming my daily life. So it's been a while since I did a sit and talk to the camera, sing my intro, and talk about skincare products. As always, I got really happy and towards even the end of the video, I think I get more excited and more like energized. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and checking out uh, the Best of Beauty for 2021. And I have a lot of new recommendations that I do want to give, so stay tuned in. And my box is coming out, I think February 2nd KST, around there. So I will tell you guys before it launches. But anyway, stay tuned tuned in because it's gonna be epic Woo! it's gonna be epic i mean even like the ceo of us all was like oh my gosh like even myself and my staff we want to buy this box so it's gonna be crazy and i just wanted to give the best offer to my unicorns with the biggest discounts with the best selection of products with products that you know that i i love that i've been talking about for so long the good oldies and the new loves too so anyway stay tuned in and i'll see you in the next one Bye, my unicorns. Happy New Year. Let's have a great year of 2021. Uh, 2022. <laughs> 2022. Okay, love you. Bye. <laughs>